there's a reason why your back and forth conversation skills are still poor. It's not the same as memorising short phrases to have quick interactions with people when you are out and about. Conversation really is the art of understanding and being able to formulate a response in real time over a sustained period of time. And the only way to improve is practice. As a teacher of European Portuguese, I know that the main complaint is I can't find anyone to practice with. Have you ever said this? The truth is there are over 260 million Portuguese speakers in the world and you're telling me you can't find a single person to practice with? No, I'm not buying it. And in today's video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how many of my students have been able to find somebody to practice their conversation with, even though many of them the majority of them are still living outside of Portugal. So hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and you need more practical tips for learning Portuguese in your life and let's go. So let's start with those people who are outside of Portugal and how they found people to practice with. Now you might think you need to go straight for the online option but guess what? You don't. How many of you have a Facebook group for your local community? This is an excellent place to start. My student Jonathan posted a call out on his local community's Facebook page asking if anybody spoke Portuguese and would be interested in a language exchange. And guess what? He found a guy who was from Cape Verde living in his local area. My student Matthew, all the way over in San Diego, joined the Brazilian club at his university and that's where he found a grad student from Lisbon. So he was actually able to practice with a Portuguese speaking person. When you start to look for local events to you that actually bring together Portuguese speaking people, I bet you'll be amazed at what you find. My students Sophia and Dina, who are in Portland, actually found a weekly speaking event for Portuguese speakers at a local cafe. Again, there's more Brazilians there, but guess what? I have a really important tip for you. People who've reached the stage of wanting to do speaking practice and needing to do speaking practice often tell me that they want to find someone who is specifically Portuguese from Portugal to practice with. But listen, it's actually not that important the type of Portuguese that the person you are doing speaking practice with speaks. This is because you shouldn't be doing speaking practice until you have reached a really good baseline of knowledge of listening comprehension, your own pronunciation, and the most basic grammar you need to form sentences. Once you've got all of that under your belt, and for that I do recommend you use specific European Portuguese tutoring and materials, once you have got that, what you now need to do is train something entirely different, which is your speaking muscle. Now, I always say that getting used to being in a conversation is like a muscle that you need to train. You've got all the information up in your brain, now you need to train it to come out of your mouth. So actually what you're doing with speaking practice more than anything is testing, putting yourself on the spot, finding the information in your head and actually speaking it. And so for this, you just need somebody who understands Portuguese and can keep the conversation going. So this is why I say to people, please don't discount Brazilians or Portuguese Africans, because this is going to be still a really great way for you to practice. Now, some of you are probably thinking, well, actually, I don't have any of those things under my belt yet. Maybe I'm not ready to tackle speaking practice. And that's absolutely fine. As I say, there is a baseline of knowledge that you need before you start conversation. So if you are looking to get started, my free lesson for beginners is linked in the description. This is the best place to go and start to get that baseline of knowledge that you're going to need. Another awesome find from one of my students is the Facebook group Portugueses em UK. So this group actually has 29,000 members of Portuguese people living all over the UK. And I'm sure you could find a group for people who are living in your country as well. This is how my student Debbie found a language partner. She actually has two now. They have a book club. They do all sorts of awesome um, reading and analysis of poems and things like that. And she has since smashed the CIPLA exam by actually doing this kind of practice. So I am so proud of her and this is an awesome place to go look if you're in the UK. Don't forget I also did this video that was uh, really helping people who are living outside of Portugal to learn Portuguese online. There are some really good resources in there as well if you want more help of immersing yourself even though you're not in the country yet. 
While you're at it, looking for Portuguese people in your local area, why not scope out Portuguese restaurants? Anywhere that is selling pastel de nata is likely somewhere that you are going to find Portuguese people. So get creative with it. Now, moving on to online, uh, I do want to give a little word of warning. It can be a little bit creepy. There can be people who are just looking for dates and not actually serious about language exchange. So really do be careful with who you give your information to and the sites that you use when you're looking for a language partner online. But some of the places that my students have found success are the website Conversation Exchange. It looks a little bit dated, but from what my students say, this is where they've had the most success of finding people who really are serious. And also there's an option to be a pen pal with somebody, which I think is really cute. Also the Reddit page, Reddit Language Exchange. Apparently this was amazing for some of my students. Their phones literally blew up when they posted there. This is where you're going to post the language that you are offering in the exchange and the language what you want. So my student Helen found somebody from Lisbon there that she was able to practice even though she's all the way in Canada. Now, if you're already in Portugal, of course, you have many more options. One idea is to ask a friend of a Portuguese friend, because remember, you are looking for somebody who is on a similar level to you. There's no point having somebody who is super fluent in English when you're a really, really beginner in Portuguese. So looking for somebody who specifically needs help with English, if that's your native language and what you are offering. So my student Emile did this. She made good friends with her real estate agent and she just said to her, hey, do you know anyone who would appreciate some help with their English? And she said, you know what? Yes, I do. And Emil and Katia have become amazing friends since then. You can check out this case study of Emil's amazing journey of going from zero Portuguese to hour long phone calls with Katia that she looks forward to every week. So this is a great way to do it and think outside of the box. Another great way to do it is taking up a hobby so you can actually get to know Portuguese people while doing something that you really enjoy. So my student Tori, for example, joined a hiking group. That's where she met her, her language learning partner, Sophia. My student Lisa signed up for Pilates classes. So there really is so much opportunity for you to go and integrate into the community and use that as your conduit to meet people who want to practice their English or the language that you are offering. Now it is going to take some time to find the person who is right for you. It's unlikely that you're magically going to meet your new BFF uh, who you're going to be chatting to every week straight away. But you know, all the best things in life, they take some work, right? So I want you to know that it is not impossible. And I hope all of these examples from my students have shown you that it really is possible to practice your Portuguese and enjoy it and finally get to a place where you can actually have a two-way conversation, connect with somebody, really get to know them and feel so much more confident in your speaking skills. Once again, I want to remind you, do not run before you can walk. My students actually have to get halfway through my program up to module three, where they learn all about verbs, the basic conversation building blocks and have really intensive tutoring in pronunciation as well. They have to complete all of this before I encourage them to start speaking practice. So if you're feeling behind, you're not ready to do conversation practice yet, that's absolutely fine. As I said, my free lesson for beginners is waiting for you in the description. It's totally free and it's the best 60 minutes you will spend learning the basics of Portuguese that you're going to need. So let's do it. Let me know in the comments how you get on, how you have found somebody to practice with. I always love to hear your stories. And I'll be back at the same time next week with more practical tips for improving your confidence and conversation skills in Portuguese. Ciao for now.